Hello chaps and chapers, it's how is everybody today? So we are here at our little tree farm area. Um, it's looking good, I've got to say when all the trees are in it and everything's here, it looks nice, everything makes sense. Um, yeah. So I've been collecting various logs um, here and there while I've been in the area. Um, so we're getting ourselves quite a, a bundle now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five and a half stacks that one, six stacks that one, just over five of the jungle, and then plenty of the normal one as well. So slowly and surely uh, collecting all the various bits and pieces of that. But we're not going to be doing anything on the trees today because they are all done and dusted. Uh, instead, what we're going to be doing is starting uh, a new project uh, in the water world. So you saw the sky high area uh, recently, and we took a visit there, and now we're going to go and visit the water world area. So, uh, same as before, basically just go to spawn. There's big crazy signs everywhere at the moment telling you how to get there, but it's just in the same place as all the other portals. So you head along here. Okay, so there's the sky high portal there. That's the end portal. And down here is the portal to Waterworld. So we'll jump on through here. And this is basically the spawn ship um, with a bunch of free boats and everything. Um, oh, I should mention as well that I have changed the texture pack to be the Faithful 32 pack. Uh, so everything looks a little bit sharper today, then that's the reason why. It doesn't seem to affect performance at all for me, so um, I've got no problem at all with using it. As you can see, some people have been building some underwater things around spawn already. A little boat house there, uh, some boats which were in here already. Uh, that's looking like to be some sort of giant ship, but I haven't taken a look at that yet. Uh, again, another kind of mine shaft thing there, and another shaft there as well. Uh, anything over this side? Oh, some glowstone and some sort of mound there as well. So, um. I've already found my island for where I'm going to be building the project. So we're just going to go to home within Waterworld. And here we are on my little island, um, which I thought I'd lit up enough, but apparently not. As Mr. Creeper is still living here. few more torches are obviously needed. So what we're going to be doing here is basically just setting up a new mob trap. Um, because it's water world there is just basically water everywhere and a bunch of sand below so there's no caves or anything as far as I know. Um, so it'll be perfect breeding grounds for, for mobs and for mob traps so we should get super high efficiencies here as well. Um, we're going to build ourselves a little hut and everything at the base and then it's probably going to go up into the sky and we'll be decorating it on the outside and stuff eventually. Um, we're going to be using a style that a lot of people use. Um, I did have a little, if I can find it, oh yes, I found one of these things under the water. These are one of the cobble piles. So I went down here to investigate. Um, it basically had a bunch of gold ore and iron ore and coal and stuff um, contained on the outside of it and some on the inside. There may well be more in there yet but 
I just haven't gotten around to actually digging it all out. Um, I did create a little hollow entrance on the inside here. Like so. So yeah, I've got a room down here if I ever need it for anything. Um, I'm not sure if I will or not, but yeah, it's here if I need it. Um, I also enchanted a few helmets so I could get myself this. So respiration 3 and projectile projection 4. Respiration 3 basically just means that you can stay underwater for a very long time um, without drowning basically uh, over the, the normal kind of limits. So um, yeah, let's go back up here. So first thing I'm going to do is find the centre point of this little island here. Um, so I'm going to dig out some trenches, uh, find the centre point, um, and then mark that out because that's going to form the basis of exactly what we're doing here. So I will do that and then be back. Well it's pretty difficult to tell um, because the island is not a perfect circle. But I believe that this would be the central point. Um, it looks about as central as I can get it. Uh, so this is where, yeah, this is going to be the focal point of our whole build, basically. Um, so I may or may not have mentioned already that this is going to be a mob trap. Um, in fact, I have mentioned that already. Um, so this where I'm standing right now is going to be where the mobs will be falling down to their XP grinding area or the kill area which will be uh, set up shortly. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a small hut um, at the base of this and then we will take it from there. Um, yeah, so I will head down and build a small hut around this delightful tower of soil. Isn't it beautiful? I ran out of the dark wood while doing this. Um, basically just harvested the trees that were on this little island um, and then melted them down into the standard planks in order to build myself a little hut um, with a little door and a dog. So in here, whoa, I didn't mean to do that already, but never mind, we're here now. What I did was dig out a trench from a central point where the people are going to be dropping, um, all the way over to the water, at water level. Um, swimming spider, how did he get all the way out there? Anyway, uh, so this is so that if the mobs ever change that they have more health or anything, it gives us enough space to drop them further than we need to. Uh, we're going to be building our bottom point probably up there or somewhere around about there. Um, but it just means that if in the future they require more to kill them or whatever, then we've got more space to drop them down and rebuild if we need to uh, so that we don't have to keep doing it over and over. So yeah, and that is that little thing there. Um, so yeah, we have our hut now. Um, what we're going to do is start making the, the insides, probably. So uh, we're going to have, well this is what I've got in my head already. We're going to have two levels. We're going to have the first level, which will probably be maybe here and this is going to be the XP farming height so we'll have a fence gate here um, and then we can punch their feet like so in order to kill them um, and then we're going to have a fence gate there which will be controlled by buttons um, and the buttons can open the fence gate and drop them down to the next level which will be a kill level uh, so that they just die straight away. So if I just want XP, I can make them go here. If I want just the items or the drops from them, then we can just drop it down to there if we don't need to be collecting XP all the time. Um, below that, there will be a small water channel 
um, going off in one of these directions, not sure which yet, um, which will then collect all the items which drop through from either there or there down below and it will bring the items out one of these directions to a small collection area. The plan is to expand out from this hut with various different bits. Like we'll have an area for making potions, um, a small enchanting area, uh, all the usual Minecraft goodness. Um, so this will be quite a, a large building I guess once everything is installed and in place in it. Um, oh look, there's a creeper already. A magnificent. Let's see if we can get him down from there. Timber. <laughs> uh, I think he died. Yeah, he died from that. Um, there's his remains. Oh dear creeper, we knew him well. Okay, so I think the next thing that we really need to do is set up the... Hello piggy. The killing kind of areas. Um, yeah, that's definitely the next thing we need to do. So, I'm going to set it up so that everything's in and working. Um, the very last thing we'll be doing, by the way, is building the, the mob spawning rooms at the top, because uh, they're going to follow the same kind of style that the old one has underneath my, my other base. Um, but this one's going to be a slightly different style, and then it's going to go a lot more vertical instead of horizontal over the place. So we shall get to that. Um, okay, I'm going to get to building and set up a demonstration. Right, I've been back to the old base, uh, collected up a bunch of stuff. Um, so in this one, a whole bunch of sand, a bunch of cobble. Uh, these were the, the items which I retrieved from that, that uh, mound of cobblestone down below in the water which I showed you shortly ago. Um, and a random Fortune 3 pick. Um, in here, again, a bunch of random things which I brought. Some wood, some saplings, if I need more wood, some signs just to lock chests when I bake them. Um, some more cobblestone, etc, etc. And in here, brought some redstone stuff. So redstone, four stacks of it, uh, some torches, some pistons, some iron bars and a fence gate. So, we're going to start setting things up. I'm going to take all of this. Uh, yep, we'll need that. And we'll need that, and that will do us for now. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a couple of buttons, because I'm planning to use buttons for this. Um, let's start laying it out how I envision it. Actually, we need a bucket of water also. Hmm. That should fix itself. Oh, it's too deep, that's why. Yeah, oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, so we have a bucket of water. Um, yeah. Okay, so I want this to be to the north. I believe that that is the north there. Um, I checked it on F3. I think that's the case. Eh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, so it's not a huge issue if it's not. Um, okay, so let's remember. So this is where the, this is the central column where the people are going to be, the mobs are going to be falling down. So that's where they're going to be standing. So right on there, we're going to want that. When that's open, they can fall through. When it's closed, they will land on it and go ow. So that's what we want, ideally, um, so that we can kill them or not kill them, as the need may be. So if they are to fall through there, like so, run it down here, and we will place. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, and get rid of that. an iron barn there. Okay, so if they drop through there from up above, which is going to be through there, they will land on that 
and because the fall is too far for them, they will die. The idea then is that their items will drop down, and there's going to be a water flow here. So let's just do that just now as well. Use some of this delightful dirt. Like so. So they're going to fall down there, they're going to land on that, they'll die, the items will fall through and into the stream and then into our little collection area which is going to be there. Or, or round about there, it's not exactly set in stone yet as to where that's going to be. Um, okay, so what we got here? Okay, let me grab some cobblestone, just so we can start marking out where things are going to be. Okay, so that is going to be then dropping, landing on there, die, 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 die. Um, so that's going to continue down more again like that. Whoa. Okay, I really need to stop doing that. Um, excuse me while I build a staircase. There we go. Okay, um, I will be right back in a moment, uh, as I've just received a message in the chat. Okay, that's that little situation resolved. Now, where were we? Okay, so, um, yes, so we'll continue putting cobble just now, just to demonstrate where this will be going. And uh, go over here to do that. There, there, and there. Okay, I believe if I put that there and one of those there. No, okay. So this will need to be one more in. Like so, like so, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so we will have a button, uh, probably, mm, probably here. Yeah. So if we put our two buttons here, one there, one there. Okay. And then we would hook up probably around the back actually. Yeah, so if we hook up a torch around the back of here, like so. Then that will enable us to do our two redstone paths. From that one and from that one. Yep. Yep. Okay, and basically what we'll do is uh, a T flip flop probably um, with piston, and that will allow us to select whether it's open or whether it's closed and we'll be able to select that way so that will be what we do for that um, yeah so that's fine so yeah we'll have probably a I have to clear that out in a moment but we'll have a walkway area at this kind of height 
or maybe one lower. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we'll have an area to kind of block all that off so that we can just kill the mobs all from there. And get rid of this just now. Oops, not with beef I won't. Okay, and the other thing that we'll need to set up is a piston just here. So, and oops, that'll be like that. So that if any of the items get stuck on the top of the metal plate, should they fall through, sometimes the items would get stuck on top of there. We'll have the piston which can push them off into the water flow uh, and this air block here. And then it will take them all the way that way. So yeah, that's the basic concept. Um, what I'll do now is I'll probably work on making this fully functional and look nice and everything. And yeah, be back shortly. Damn rain. Just as soon as I was about to start recording the rains came. So I've turned my sound down so it should be fine anyway. I have buttons! XP mode, kill mode, XP mode, kill mode, XP mode, kill mode, yes. So here we are, XP mode. Oop. They will land on here, we will kill them for XP's. Kill mode, it is open, they will drop through and land on the metal below. That will kill them and drop their items down into the water. Hopefully it will anyway. Um, so yeah, that is done. Uh, let's have a look around the back here and see what we've done. So I don't know if there was any way of getting it more compact, but I did the best that I could. So, redstone wires coming from each of the buttons. And this one here. to a flip-flop. The redstone torch at the bottom there passes power through the block when it's over it, which goes into this repeater. This repeater goes into this block here, which goes to this torch here, which goes up into this block with the wire into the repeater, and that powers through that block to where the fence gate is behind it. So if we press this, uh, where are we on just now? We're on that side. So if we press this one, it will move the block over for us. There we are. You see the block has moved over now, and now that this is not powered, so that means that the mode has been changed. Likewise on this side, uh, it's a bit harder to see, but I'll try. You see the person pushed it right over there, and that takes the power away from that and moves it through here and now that changes the mode again. So yeah, oh, a stupid hole every single time. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the back part of this done. Um, obviously all of this will be... Hello spider! Haha, <laughs> you can't get me down here. Sup? Ha 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 Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, so all of this will be covered over, um, or we'll build a shell around it or something. Yeah, you're not going to see any of this once once we're done. Um, all we're getting right now is the basic functionality in place, uh, so that all the features that we want are in. Um, there's going to be... I'll get a block or two to demonstrate. It's here. Uh, there's going to be a block there so that the mobs can't actually see you. So you can just hammer away at them to your heart's content. Um, yeah, I think that is for that. The next thing we're going to do is 
work out our positions for oh here we are in this hole again uh, for the water stream so let's take this away from here for a second because the idea is that we want to have it kind of like a mound uh, so it'll go up a half level each time all the way up to the here thing here and then at the bottom of the mound is our item collection area well, that's the idea so I will work on that just now um, and then once it's fully functional we'll probably start dressing up probably in the next episode as this episode is starting to get long but uh, let's organize where our items are going to go let's do that now and they are going to go there so we've built the basic little passageway for all the items to be delivered down to a central pressure plate and we're going to use the pressure plate for something in the next episode so as before kill 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 kill, kill items drop down through there it's difficult to see if we look down here we've got two water source blocks here one here and one there the reason for that is in the old mob farm when the items came down uh, they would sometimes get stuck if you had a block say here and here they would get stuck on this block and you wouldn't be able to collect them with the water source there so by doing it this way it just means that all the items will now no matter whereabouts they drop in to the water they will all flow down to that central passage down to our pressure plate at the bottom there just there um, so yeah that's pretty much all sorted out and ready to go so final summary again enemies or mobs come down where the soil is at the moment into here either to be XP farmed or past this wooden bit onto the metal bar, iron bar, and they would die on that. And the items would drop through and all end up down here. So, yeah, that's it for today's episode. Um, next time we will hook this up to something and we will see what that will be. And we'll probably start to dress up this area as well uh, to make it look like something which will be livable instead of a bunch of cobble and random pieces of wood so uh, thanks for watching the video um, please stay tuned please like it it only takes a button click uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you have any suggestions or any thoughts then please let me know and I will try and integrate them into future videos um, yeah so that's it for today from me and my non-tamed dog. I'm sure I'll tame him at some time. Goodbye.